Uh, finally, Simon from The Standard, this embargo, 12 o'clock lunchtime Tuesday. Hi, Mikhail. Hello. Uh, now you've made this, this FA Cup final, obviously everyone in the squad's going to be wanting to start that game. How much are these two games this week an opportunity for someone to show to you that they should be starting at, at Wembley? Yes, obviously, the, the feeling that you are left with a player today and tomorrow and the next day is, is, is what is valuable for, for the coach, you know, what they've done a week or two weeks ago. So they have to try to earn it in every training session and every time they are in the football pitch. Um, obviously, you can sense the hunger and everybody wants to be involved and playing minutes and uh, we'll have to manage that to get into that position in the best possible condition. And you've got some Arsenal fans who would quite like a Bamiyang to be wrapped up in cotton wool before that final. But when he's going for the golden boot in the Premier League as he is, are you able to say to him, look, I need to give you a rest? <laughs> well, that's what I did a little bit against Liverpool to, to throw him in a moment in the game where I thought that uh, he was going to give him a better chance and as well be a little bit fresher for the semi-final. But these players, you know, they want to play every single minute. They are so competitive and that's why it made them so good as well. And just lastly on Pierre, you, you said there you obviously you want to know what the plan is with him come the summer. Is one of the options on the table him staying and not signing a new deal or is it he stays and signs a new deal or he goes? Well, I don't know. Obviously, the plan A is the one that exists right now is to extend his contract and, um, and make sure that we can keep him here. Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Mikhail, I'm just sending you an update for the next one. It's on your email. Thank you, Mark. See you guys.